everybody, the home of the Bruins and such magical players like Orr, Esposito, Busick, Bork, Neely, you name it. Both teams lined up in the middle. We are ready to get things underway. The Bruins are going to start with the puck after taking the opening draw. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Gaining speed through center, and here they come on the attack. Here's a pass down low. Sends it down low. St. Louis plays it against the boards. Puts the puck on net. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it, and it stays out of the net. It's always a challenge to make a save when there's tons of traffic in front of you, but he does a great job of tracking, staying dialed in, and makes the save. Scores! And look who's on the board! The whole team has this place up buzzing again! Oh, uh, you can just hear it in the building. I mean, it's just electric in here, James. And how much fun is it for them? When you play at home, you get on the board first, you create a ton of momentum. You don't want to give any life to your opponent. Boston's been pushing hard here early in this first period, and look at that. Their hard work pays off with a goal. Uh, there's so many mini-games within a game, James, and to start the period, you can look at it as one. And they have certainly dominated in that area. And that when you start the game like this, you dictate the pace, and that's exactly what they wanted to do and send a strong... Here we go. They're dropping the gloves. You knew this was going to come after they hit their star player. Well, uh, if you're going to touch the star players, you're going to have to answer the call. They certainly don't want their top players in a fight. So here they come, the enforcer. And scores the takedown, and that'll bring this one to an end. Yeah, gets his weight over him and takes him down to the ice, and he's going to be the victor in this one. Well, some good punches were landed there, and he looks visibly shaken up. I think he's going to need some medical attention, James. At the very least, some ice packs. Well, both teams seem to be a little calmer now after a pretty chaotic stretch just a few moments ago. The Blues take possession after that neutral zone faceoff. Boston's crossed the line and on the attack. Moves it to the middle. Can't connect the play. And he hangs on to the puck. Into the offensive zone. Centering feed. And that's stopped. And just like that, from out of nowhere, comes up with the puck. Quick pass to Van Riemsdyk. Takes the pass from the left wing. Handles the puck. The Bruins gain possession along the wall. Tried to make a move, and the puck hops away. He is so dangerous when the puck is on his stick in the offensive zone, but he tries one too many moves, and he loses the puck. Through the middle of the ice side of the attacking zone. Well, that's an unbelievable save. A great A scoring chance taken away as he flashes the leather and makes the stop. St. Louis is looking to even things up here in the first as they trail despite out shooting them. From a slot wrist shot. Oh, what a save in front. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Past the midway mark of the frame. one nothing the score. Hayes won the draw, and they'll start off on the attack. Moves it to Cruz. Denies him. He got all of it. Taken along the wall by Hayes. Oh, it stops him again. You can certainly tell that the goaltender is dialed in on that last sequence of saves, James. He's to position, so he finds a way to make multiple saves back to back. Bennington's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. And the centers glide towards the dot here as we got a face-off set to go. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And that caroms off a body in the lane. Here's a short pass to Lindholm. Here's a pass to the middle. And he denies that great opportunity there.
Boston's won the faceoff. With the blast! And stops that big bomb! And does it again! Carries the puck up to center. Neighbors setting up against the wall. Laukos crossed the line and is on the attack now. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Coughs it up on the play. Moves it quickly over to Steen. Here's a shot! Oh, what a save of the play! Whoa. He's doing absolutely everything he can to keep his team in this game, James. Unbelievable save. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. And he elects to play the puck. That's a solid hit. First 20 minutes of play is in the books. Both teams get a chance to refresh and reset. We'll be back with second period action in no time. Fans tonight, the home team one is dropping $50 gift certificates to Delmix. Proud sponsor of tonight's game. Clean sheet of ice, period two is set to go. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Well, Cheryl, already a third of this one played. What do you make of this one? Allmark's the only reason that his team is in this game, James, and he's been outstanding through the first 20. He's dialed in, he's focused, and his team needs to pick it up if they want a shot at winning this game. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The Bruins lead it 1-0. And they win the draw here in their own end. Shoots it! Oh, we got a piece of it to keep it out. And it goes off the stick and off to the side. St. Louis looks to break out in their own end. Pass stolen in the open ice. Here they come on the attack. Love saved by the goalie. Marshawn's back on the ice after serving that five-minute major for fighting and has certainly appreciated to have a physical element to your game. You know his teammates certainly appreciate it, but man, you got to find a way to generate offense, and the only way you can is when you're on the ice. Some last-second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. St. Louis takes possession off the draw. Looks to pass it to Kapanen. The Blues cross the line and gain the zone. Grizzlick's hauled down, penalty on the way. Quick feed to Frederick. And now he moves it to Van Riemsdyk. Shot, and that one's denied. And the goaltender gets to the bench for the extra attacker. And here comes the judgment from the official. No, and you're looking for the equalizer. It's tough to take a penalty and play shorthanded, James. You gotta find a way to get to even strength so you can generate some offense. The Bruins get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. An opportunity on their first power play of the game, James. And this is an opportunity to look at the coverage as well, see how they're playing it, whether they're going to be aggressive or sit back. Takes a shot. Blocked in front. Quick shot from right out of midair. He bats it down. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. The Bruins will lose a man tripping the call. Well, things should open up for both sides here with a little four-on-four -four action. Four-on-four, four, you want to utilize north, south, east, west, and capitalize on the speed with the extra ice available. You can bet your coaching staff is going to put some pretty quick players out there. Battle along the boards. Quick pass to Shen. Boston's got a hold of it against the wall. St. Louis now has a short power play with their penalty expired. The Blues take possession in the defensive end. Well, we know he's got a great glove hand, and man, does he ever show it off right there with that stop. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. one nothing is where we sit at this point. Here's off the try, and a nice job locking up his opponent. And he takes the feed. Here's an odd man rush. St. 
St. Louis tries to break out from their own end. Jostled off the puck. St. Louis has it near the wall. He grabs the puck here at the point. Hammers it on net. Oh, and it just gets a piece of it to keep it out. All those tracking exercises when you're young come in handy when you're older, and this is a prime example. Look at him, Bob and Weave, trying to find that puck. He does and makes the save. St. Louis gains a hold of the puck against the boards. Moves it to Saad. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Takes that pass back at the point. Takes the bump but still hangs on to the puck. Way too much congestion blocks that. The Bruins take it along the wall. Play blown dead, let's get the call. Well, that's certainly not going to help the team. I mean, they're losing by one. They've got to find a way to get some momentum to get on the board. Now they're finding themselves killing a penalty. Pasternak's looking to use his zone ability to generate some scoring here, guys. The power play is a great opportunity for him to use his skills to his team's advantage. The Blues gain control of it. Sundqvist got it through the neutral zone. Looking to break out here on the power play. The Bruins in transition at center. Shot! And makes the routine save. Bennington's been dominant in the crease tonight. He's turned away a lot of high danger shots. And he's really found a way to build some momentum for his team. Give him a real opportunity to win. Sundqvist recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Oh, competitors save just when you think that he's completely out of it James he comes across with a desperation save to keep his team alive Boston's got possession here in the offensive zone and he turns that one aside well, they always say to be great you have to get uncomfortable as we look at this last save this looks uncomfortable stretching your body finding a way to make yourself as big as possible to get to the save that's what he did why the save was made. Power play set to roll on as the setters get ready for the faceoff. Coils won the draw there on the attack. That's gloved by Bennington. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Hayes and company still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Boston's won the draw, now let's see what they can do with it. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. Well, if they're gonna do something with this man advantage, now's the time. They don't have the luxury of time, James. They have to be urgent and get the puck up ice. And that's broken up with a stick in front. St. Louis gets a strong effort from their penalty killers. You get the nod to go out there on the power play and make a difference and you don't. It's frustrating and it's a real momentum killer. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Here in the late going of the frame, the Bruins have taken a 1-0 lead. Shens won the draw deep in the defensive zone. There's a great club saved by Bennington. Boston's up for good reason. They have been the more complete team offensively, which is why they lead late in the second. Coyles won the draw here in the offensive zone. Beatington's opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. Teams are ready for the draw. The linesman about to drop the puck. Shens won the faceoff. Slides the puck over. Two periods down, one more to go. Both teams have time to get a refresh, and we'll be back for period number three. I'm fired up. I know you're fired up for this, too. Welcome back to EA Sports, the final frame of this one. And with the puck being dropped, here we go. The clock is running here on period number three. Well, Pounder, we've played more than 40 minutes now in this one. How do you view things? St. Louis 
is fortunate to be in a game here in the third period, James, but they need to press. They really need to push offensively because they haven't had much offensive production in the way of shots throughout the first 40 minutes. If they can do that, create some quality as well as get presence in front of the net, they can get the equalizer. They got to work hard to get it, but they can do it. We're still in the early stages of this period. Boston's ahead, 1-0. Can they take advantage after winning that draw? One save made by Omar. We'll get a face-off after the puck stays covered up. Boston's done a wonderful job putting a lot of pucks on net, and they lead it early in this third period. Nice job tying up his opponent. Good read with the stick to break that up. St. Louis has the puck. Here's a short pass to Pareko. Moves it up through the middle for the right. Out of midair, he slots it down to the ice. Makes the save again! Now the shooter's gonna run out of real estate because he does a great job of getting out of top of the crease and taking away all the room. When you make yourself as big as possible, there's less holes in the net. Whoever has a role in this PK unit knows that they not only have to kill this penalty off and keep the game within reach, but maybe they can be opportunistic and pounce on a loose puck for an opportunity. Another scoring opportunity looms here. No, they haven't scored on the power play yet. 100% is not a number that you see typically. So they got to find a way to just stay confident, trust the process and their skill sets. St. Louis has it in the defensive end. Folks got it in the offensive zone. Skates in behind the cage. Too many bodies in the way. Moves it quickly over to DeBrust. Into the attacking area from the left side. Comes up with the stop. Beatington's got it, and he's going to hang on as we get a whistle. Well, he's been dialed in right from puck drop, and he has been under seas, James. Nice job to hold on to that puck. Now they can hit the reset button. Hayes gets set for the face-off here as they will continue to play shorthanded. St. Louis has won the defensive zone draw. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Excellent stick work on the play. Heinen's got it in the defensive zone. Into the offensive zone, down the right wing. Shot! Blocked in traffic. And loses possession after a solid hit. Kuznevich is up and ready to get back on the ice. The Bruins come up empty-handed on the power play. We're back to even strength here. Finding ways to get it done, James. That's what the PK unit does here, and they give their team life as they're still within reach of this game. Pass back to the point. There's a great save on an excellent chance there. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Grabs control of it on the point. Quick feed to Pareko. Makes the save. Goaltender covers it up and we'll get a reset here. Past the halfway mark of this period, we've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. Can't hang on after that hit. Quick pass to Pareko. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. Slides it diagonally to Frederick. Jostles for the puck but still hangs on. Oh, look at this. Here they come. They've got numbers. And he shut the door on that last play. There's another stop. The Bruins will play it against the wall. Grabbed along the board by Kyrou. Van Riem's made an incredible play there, James. He stumbles in front of the net, but finds the puck and could have lost it, but manages to stay with it enough to get a shot off. Grabbed along the board by Kyrou. St. Louis moves it ahead. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Made that stop. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high danger scoring chances eventually go in. The Bruins have been the busier team in the shot department, and they lead it late in this third period. Picked up along the wall by Zaka. 
slides the puck across to Grizzly. Tries to get it to Marchand. Blaze got it on the offensive end. The Bruins have it against the wall. And he takes the dish. Oh, my, you can feel that from here. Well, that has to hurt, and he's getting up slowly. The whole body rattles when you get hit like that. Now he takes it over the line. Moves it to Fulk. Beatington's at the bench, allowing for the extra attacker to jump on. Thanks for playing.